بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو سالار خان یوٹیوب چینل ویر یو نو دیٹ وی آر ڈسکس ان دا ٹاپک آف کلیپرس اینڈ اینڈ دا انٹروڈکشن ویڈیو وی آل ریڈی سین سو یو نو دیٹ دیر آر سیریز کلیپرس اینڈ پیرل کلیپرس اینڈ دین فردر ان سیریز اینڈ پیرل وی ہیو فردر کیٹیگریز سو وی آر ڈن ود دا سیریز ٹو ڈے وی اسٹارٹ واٹ دا پیرل کلیپرس اور دی شارٹ کلیپرس so let me give the heading the parallel or you know that parallel is also called as shunned clippers so what would be the case in this case uh, what would be the thing the thing is that the diode would be connected in parallel across the load across which the output is taken or you can ultimately say that the output is taken across the diode terminals yes yes And I forgot to tell you that the clipper is also called limiter. So we have a second name for the clipper circuit. It's a limiter circuit. Fine. Yes. Okay. So let's let's start with a parallel with a parallel circuit. So what do we have? Let's suppose we have this. This is an input voltage. Let's say a plus y this v input polarity, a low a, a resistor, and then you have a diode. A diode is connected in this manner. The output is in parallel to this. So let's say the output is taken across the terminals of the diode V naught. You could also include a low resistor. It would be in parallel. It would have the same potential. Doesn't matter, right? So basically, you could say that the, the output is taken across the diode terminals. Why? Because the load is in parallel to that. So let's 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 analyze the circuit. Fine. So uh, what happens if the input voltage for this? What would happen? Plus is connected to the N side. Minus is connected to the P side. So this is reverse biasing the diode, right? So which means that uh, if the voltage across the diode is greater than zero that is basically what do we talk about the p to n voltage right the p to n voltage but over here the case is opposite the case is opposite so over here the voltage across the diode the p to n voltage the p to n voltage is negative of v in p to n voltage is negative of v in times and if this is greater than zero So this would be forward bias. The voltage across the diode. When we talk about the voltage across the diode, we talk about the with respect to plus to minus p to n. Okay? Yes. Yeah, so you don't have to confuse it. Or you could say that v input is less than zero. Or v input is less than zero. So this would imply what that the diode is forward bias. And if this is an ideal diode, so there is a short circuit over here. So what do we have? The output is going to be zero. The output is zero. Yes. No. Yes, it is zero. When the input voltage is less than zero, that is negative, the output would be zero. Why? Because we have a short circuit, so so the the output is zero. It is short circuit, right? Then what happens when the voltage across the diode is less than zero? So over here, the voltage across the diode is simply p to n voltage when it is v of v input is less than zero, negative of v input, right? Because it's connected in the opposite manner with respect to p to n. So this would imply what? Or v input is greater than zero so when v input is greater than zero the diode is reverse biased so when it is reverse biased this is an open circuit equivalent these terminals are connected directly across the input so this implies what that the output voltage is simply equal to the input voltage yes yes so let's suppose we have an input graph the time axis the omega t axis whatever it is we input let's say we have a square wave this repeats in such a manner right then the output is what the output is like this what happens when the input voltage is greater than zero v output is equal to v input v output is equal to v input And what happens when the input voltage is less than zero? The output voltage is zero. 
and similarly this would repeat. So again you could see this is just as a half wave rectifier but I told you what that the half wave rectifier circuit is is a special name for the clipper circuit when the input applied is a side to side. This is also a half wave rectifier but we mainly talk of rectifiers when talking of the sinusoidal inputs. So this is the input curve, this is the output curve. Let us have the, 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 the transfer characteristics as well. So the transfer characteristics, if you have not watched the previous videos, those transfer characteristics are the characteristics when plotted output quantity versus the input quantity. So over here we have the voltage levels. So output voltage versus the input voltage curve would be the transfer characteristics of this particular circuit. So what do we have over here? When the input voltage is less than zero, the output voltage is zero. So have a look, is this the case? Yes, I'm not drawing it over it because the markers did not work properly. And then when the input voltage is greater than zero, so the output voltage is equal to the input voltage, so which means this would be the graph of uh, tangent, the slope equal to one. Right? So, now you need the circuit in the end, okay? First, you know, this is a parallel clipper, right? Then you have, uh, uh, then you don't have any uh, voltage source. So, which means this is an unbiased, let me name it over here, unbiased parallel, unbiased parallel, and is it negative or is it positive? So, this is negative. Why? Because it has clipped the negative portion right or it has clipped a certain portion that is below a certain level right yes unbiased parallel negative clipper you could not only say that this would clip the negative portion you could the proper definition would be that it clips below a certain level fine yes let's have another circuit let's have another circuit the number second case so the second case, again, let's say we have a plus minus input voltage, right? Over here, you did not use to confuse it with the negative V input and this and that. Plus is connected to N, minus is connected over here. So in the positive cycle, you say that this is an, uh, this is what? This is an open circuit directly because this is reverse bias in the diode. Similarly, if the, in the negative cycle, if this uh, 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 this becomes opposite, so negative is connected to N, positive is connected to P. So what do you have? This becomes the short circuit, the output becomes zero. You could directly just do it that way as well. You don't need to confuse the negative V input and the voltage across the diode and this and that, right? When you have a single source, just positive, negative, just consider that. Anyways, again, we have a resistor. This is just a current limiting resistor, it does not play any significant role in our analysis. It does play a significant role, but in our analysis, we are not interested in that. So in this case, we have the diode again connected in a similar fashion, and then we have a we have a reference voltage. A reference voltage, a diode D. The output is taken across these terminals having a polarity plus minus V output. So have a look, I told you that look for the polarity of VR, look for the polarity of VR. So this is a positive biasing you can understand from over here as well. But what if the this is not in this leg, this source? What if it is present somewhere else? So you know how to determine if this is positive biasing or negative biasing from the waveform. If it is greater than zero, so it is positive biasing. If it's less than zero, it's negative biasing. We'll understand it anyways. So what happens in this case? Have a look. For the positive cycle, let's say I'm doing the red color directly. Or you could say the voltage across the diode is what? This is Vr minus minus of V input because this plus is connected to the N side. Isn't it like this? Vr uh, minus of V input directly. No, Vr minus of V input. Vr minus of V input or let it be. Let us go for the simpler one. What do you have? This plus is connected to the N side. So this is reverse biasing the diode, right? Similarly, this plus is connected to the P side. This is forward biasing the diode. So for the diode to be forward biased, the voltage across it should be greater than zero. Voltage across it should be greater than zero. That means the P to N voltage should be greater than zero, right? So this means what? That the P side should be at a greater potential, which means we are should be greater than V input. 
and if we r is greater than v input so what would be the case the diode would be forward biased it would be a short circuit and what would happen in that case is that the output voltage would simply equal this thing but this thing what minus of vr because have a look at the polarities output voltage would be minus of vr right yes now for the second case for the diode to be reverse bias what would be the case the voltage across it that is the p to n voltage should be less than zero which means the p should be at a lower terminal the n should be at a higher voltage terminal this means that the reference voltage should be less than the input voltage or the input voltage you could say is greater than the reference voltage right yes so this would imply what that this is reverse bias this is an open circuit this is an open circuit right so you don't have anything to do with vr v output is directly equal to v input and isn't it like this just let me check it is it is so let us have what let us have the graphs let us have the graphs so if this is my time axis this is my input axis let's say i have a triangular waveform right so what would be the case in the output so have a look we are talking about what we are is greater than we input we input is greater than we are so which means this we are is a positive value you have to take your input positive right you have to take the input value positive so with respect to that when we are comes so then we will see so we are is positive in this case so let's say we have this as we are this is the level of we are let's say we just drop these points over here this is my t by 2 point so what does this means this interval is that interval in which this defines this one to the left and this to the right is where the vr is greater than v input so when vr is greater than v input v output is simply minus of vr and i believe i have a mistake i believe i have a mistake somewhere v naught is simply equal to vr Yes, V0 is simply equal to VR. Why? Because the polarities are the same. I, I missed this part. V0 is simply equal to VR. Yes? Yes, yes. So let me have this level of VR. This is the level of VR. Fine? Yes. And for the other cases, when the input voltage is greater than VR, and similarly this would also go till t right if this is my t point so this would come till here because then the voltage is less than that and when it's greater the input voltage is greater than vr the v input is equal to v output so this is the case right yes and similarly then this would repeat then this would repeat for the next cycle you have this this much amount over here right and then you have this much repeating yes yes it's fine so let's draw the transfer characteristics now let's draw the transfer characteristics this is the graph for the output voltage i believe you are getting it i'm not going in a speed input output so what we have a positive vr threshold level we have a positive vr that is the transition level so this is vr over here this is the vr over here so what when we are v input is less than vr v not is equal to v input so when v input is less than vr v not is equal to v input wait v input is less than vr is this case v input is less than vr v naught is equal to vr so this is the case right yes yes and then when v in is greater than vr so v naught is equal to v input so this is the case slope one angle 45 yes let us name this circuit let us name this circuit so of course this is a parallel clipper the diode is in parallel to the load the diode the, the, the output is taken across the diode 
then you have a biasing you have a biasing so first let me write that this is a biased uh, parallel clipper this is a biased parallel clipper but what is the biasing the biasing is positive biasing why because the reference voltage is greater than zero so this is a positive biased parallel and is this positive clipper is a negative clipper so have a look the the clipping has been done below a certain level the negative portion has been clipped so what was the case this is a negative clipper so which means that this is an overall positive bias parallel negative clipper the last case the third for this one the third for this one is let's say like this plus minus v input we we will simply just reverse the the reference voltage this is reference voltage this is an ideal diode this is a resistor the output is taken plus minus over here now have a look so now what happens is for the positive cycle or let's say if we want to make the diode forward biased so what would be the case for forward bias the voltage across the diode should be greater than zero this will make it forward biased what is the voltage across the diode this plus is connected to the n side so we make it a minus of v input and then a minus is connected to the p side so we make it a minus of v reference as well this is the voltage across the diode and this should be greater than zero if plus is connected to the p side make it take it plus plus is connected to the p side take it plus and if plus is connected to the n side take it minus right yes yes or you could say what that that the negative of v input is greater than v r or you could say that v input is less than minus of v r so i told you that take the positive sign with the input voltage shift the negative to the other side so v input is less than minus of v r so if v input is less than minus of v r the diode is being forward biased so this is a short circuit the output voltage have a look this time is minus of v r v output will also be minus of v r yes this is when the diode is forward biased so you would be noticing that i'm not talking about the positive and the negative cycle i'm talking about the forward biasing and the negative biasing of the diode you could also say that for the positive cycle this would happen for the negative cycle this would happen you could also talk in that particular way but this sense is easier now for the diode to be reverse biased the voltage across it should be less than zero so this would be reverse biased which means what is the voltage negative is connected to p side so negative of v input positive is connected to n side negative of no this is negative of v reference negative of v reference negative v input should be less than zero or you could say negative of v r is less than v input or you could say that v input is greater than negative of vr v input let it be positive so in that case the diode is reverse biased it is simply an open circuit equivalent no current flows over here nothing the diode is the output is directly across the input v output is simply equal to v input right yes so i used a square wave i used a triangular wave let me use a a what a sinusoid in this case so let us use a sinusoid in this case this is my time axis this is my input axis let's say this is the sinusoid that i'm talking about this repeats in such a manner so what happens to the output voltage now this is my output voltage so we have a minus of vr our reference in this case so let's say if this is my minus of vr so you note down these points we note down these point this is my t by 2 point this is my t point v input is greater than minus of vr v output is equal to v input
Yes? Yes. This level is what? This level is minus of Vr. Hmm? Yes. And when the input voltage is less than Vr, so in that case, output voltage is minus of Vr. So let us use the red color for that. And I hope it is clear. I hope that it is clear. Finally, drawing the transfer characteristics. Finally, drawing the transfer characteristics. So the threshold voltage is what? It's minus of Vr on both the sides. So minus of Vr over here, minus of Vr over here. So what do we have? When the input voltage is less than minus of Vr, we output is equal to minus of Vr. And then when the input voltage is greater than minus of Vr, so we output is equal to V input. So a straight line, 45 degree angle passing through the origin, slope equal to 1. This is the transfer characteristics, output versus the input. Let us name this circuit. So you know this is a parallel clipper. This is a biased clipper. So let us name that biased parallel clipper it is. But is it positive bias? It is negative bias. So it is negative bias. Why? Because the reference voltage is lying below the axis. It's negative. It's less than zero. So this is a negative bias. And is it a positive clipper? Is it a negative clipper? So it is clipping the negative portion. It is clipping below a certain level. Below negative of Vr. So which means that this is a negative biased negative clipper. So I believe you have understood it. These are some very interesting lectures of clippers, limiter circuits. So we have done another case and that case is the parallel negative clipper. And we've seen further three cases, unbiased, positive biased, negative biased. In the next video, we see the parallel positive clippers, unbiased, positive biased, negative biased. Yes, I hope you have understood. You have any doubts, you have you like it, so you, 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 you can appreciate me in the comments. You don't like it, you can tell me in the comments where I need to improve. And I finish this video over here. See you in the next one very soon. Till then, take care. Goodbye.